Creighton again? Excited about that? Absolutely. They beat us last year and we owe them one. <laughs> so the extra motivation for the guys, uh, you guys didn't have the watch party, but just kind of what was it like behind closed doors when you see that come across? I, I don't know because I wasn't with the guys. Uh, so they were they were on their own and, and the coach were on their own. We, we knew we want to uh, focus on getting a result on Thursday, and, and uh, a watch party is not part of our routine. Our routine is to get recovered from the last game and get ready for the next one, and uh, we're getting ready for the routine. So. That pretty much says it right there. I mean, this is just another game trying to make it, yeah. Yeah, and honestly, it's, it's not a Creighton rivalry game at all. It's an NCAA tournament game and an opportunity to advance in the tournament and represent this university. It can turn into a Creighton rivalry game if you guys play. I mean, it's a NCAA tournament every year. You know, there's there, there, there's a geographical component in the NCAA tournament, and uh, that can happen if both teams are top teams, and they were top last year, and so were we, and we played each other, and they're a top team again, and so are we, and well, we're playing each other again. So that's a great place to be in. I'm sure you'd rather be playing at home, but uh, now that you're not, does it really matter the location to the, to the guys? Well, we've been at home a lot this year. We'd be excited to play at home, but we're super excited to get on the road. And uh, we took a cool trip to Virginia in the preseason, specific for this reason, to prepare for these trips and what these trips could look like, and, and we plan on it being a long journey. Do, do the guys follow just uh, kind of your mood right there, what you're, what you're preaching, just one game? We've heard it from this program for the last few years, just the intense focus they have on the next practice and every little thing, and have they been able to keep that with you? Well, I haven't seen them since the announcement, so I hope so. You probably know better than I do because you just interviewed them. So uh, if they were talking about the next game and being focused and on task and ready for what's in front of us, then that's a great thing. You know, this program is built on hard work and defense, blue-collar play. What goes into making it a good defense? You guys have been so good defensively. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We are. We're going to work hard and we're going to have discipline. We have the least fouls in the country, the least yellow cards in the country. These are things we try to do well. Uh, but and we work hard and we defend well. But the defense is also the attack. And we're one of the best attacking teams in the country. We have a fantastic goal difference, meaning goals for, minus goals against. And uh, so a lot of the defense is by controlling the game and dictating play. And, and it starts with the forwards. And uh, the other night after the uh, Missouri Valley Awards, when our goalie and our defenders didn't get too much recognition, I challenged the guys to remind uh, everyone how uh, good they are. And we got two shutouts. You guys have been shutout machines this year. I mean, what? What's an example of how much pride they take in just never letting the opponent score? Yeah, it's 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 cool. I mean, it's a team concept, and we're we're all about being two-way players. Everyone attacks, everyone defends, and uh, super proud for the guys and. Honestly, Jordan Valentine, assistant coach Jordan Valentine, reminded us yesterday uh, after the match that we'd broken the record for most shutouts in a season for Missouri State uh, men's soccer. And that's really cool because the teams that came before uh, were really good. I coached a few of those and, and, and one or two before my time. And that's, that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool accomplishment for, for Harry and for the whole team. What's gone into Harry's improvement this year as far as you know, stepping into that role as starter? Uh, you know what, he needed a few games under his belt to just play and be the starter and just get that confidence and that feel for it. But other than that, it's actually the work he's done the last two years. It's the work he's done behind when he was learning from Michael Creek and in training and staying dedicated. And I can't say he loved every minute of being a red shirt and not playing and waiting for his turn, but uh, he, he got through it and he used it to grow and, and he's reaping the rewards now. It seems like the mentality is something, something a goalkeeper really needs, having that proper mentality. You're not a guy who's going to score goals, so you're trying to prevent goals. What goes into the mentality of a goalkeeper? Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a dedication to your craft, and that's, that's really important. And I think it's the same, same talents that anyone needs to be an individual athlete, right? So to be a top tennis player, you have to be really concentrated on your skills and what you need to accomplish. And, you know, same with a golfer, right? You can play a lot of golf, but if you don't practice golf, you won't be very good. And, and I think goalies have to have that training mentality. And Harry wants to train today. So he's probably one of the ones that, when I told him they're not training today, he's probably one of the most disappointed. So he wants to train. He wants to get better. He's got that personal growth mindset. And then yet, he's also there for the team and part of a, a great team. So uh, that's a good mindset for a goalie, for sure. Does it take a while to uh, work up to the, the communication? There's so much that goes on between the back line and your keeper. Um, was that kind of part of the learning curve early on, those first few non-conference games too for him? Or was that something that he was really prepared for before the season started? Yeah, we, get, we, gave, up, we gave up probably uh, to the math of my head. I think we've given up nine goals. So we gave up 66% of our goals in two matches. And that was a great eye-opener for their learning curve in terms of communication, 
the, 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 the attention to detail with the back line and also the, the commitment from the forwards to press and defend well. And, and we challenged ourselves after those two results to get that right. And, and it has been part of their growth. And not just with Harry, but also new defenders all around, right? So uh, both the center backs were Lewis played a little bit last the year before, probably a solid bit, but not a ton. And then Michael Peck played a little bit. And so they're both new defenders as well. So that whole concept of, and then uh, uh, Matt Jones also hadn't played a ton before, and Giacomo Sala hadn't played a ton before. So these guys figured it out and talking and, and, and solving problems has been part of our growth for sure. When you're taking a group of, you know, high schoolers, recruiting them to come here from overseas, and, you know, there's a lot more, I'm sure, than just coaching soccer that you're doing, you're building a team. What are maybe some unique challenges you're to your job that, you know, make this maybe feel a little bit even more special than this group? Yeah, it's a great question. I think the biggest thing is uh, just building a, a team and a family atmosphere. And uh, that doesn't matter where you're from. I think that's really important. When we've had local players from, from Springfield, that's been important. We've got a young man from California, Eli, and that's important for him that we look after him. And I think creating that, that family atmosphere and, and uh, adapting to being bears. One of the things I challenge guys when they come on Missouri State campus, the quicker you make this your home and make this your family, the better your soccer is going to be. So uh, that's something we challenge all the guys with no matter where they're from.